My name is Terry Masson, my pronouns are they or them. So I'm trans, I'm non-binary, um, I'm neurodivergent, both self-diagnosed autism and mild prosopagnosia. Uh, oh god, I'm a nerd, uh, I'm a sci-fi nerd, I'm a gaming nerd. Normally the list is like as long as my arm and it just goes on and on and on and on. I guess it's just passion to help people learn, help people be more accepting and to help people be more accepted. My, my sort of golden goal there uh, would be when we see anyone get up anywhere in front of a camera, I wanna see them both introduce their name and their pronouns, because for those of us who are not um, cisgendered and have trouble with the wrong pronouns and misgendering, um, it's really nice to be more invited to share that part of ourselves and make sure other people know. Okay, inclusion and diversity to me um, is very, very broad. And it is always a case of looking at what you're doing and saying, what are we still missing here? You've got to always think, hang on, what other boxes are there? What boxes am I missing? Um, what boxes don't I even know exist? Um, and that's very much core to sort of any diversity and inclusion to me. We need to actively seek diversity and inclusion and actively allow for it. It has been statistically repeatedly shown that diversity and inclusion is better for business, it's more efficient, uh, it's better for social health, let alone actual health and well-being. If you put three white men between 45 and 60 in a room, they're much likelier to come out with the same ideas and the same outcome and a very limited project of whatever you've given them than say one white man at 45, uh, one black woman at 20 and perhaps a trans non-binary person like myself at 41. Um, we're going to have different points of view and we're going to contribute to a greater whole. Um, and it's only by having that diversity that you get that wealth of expertise, um, let alone the incredible value of lived experience and lived expertise. Call it out. Call it the F out. We need to actively combat them. We need to be aware of our bias, whether it's unconscious or not. To increase awareness of all those things, we need to call them out. If I make a joke in the office and it's a little bit phobic in any way, tell me. If we accept microaggressions and heteronormative or any sort of normative thing that implies a bias, then we're kind of accepting it and we're kind of perpetuating it a little bit ourselves as well. So it's about being more aware of what we're doing. We just need to be a bit more open, a bit more educated. Basic, basic inclusion is not making assumptions about people. It's about making people feel welcome. And we need to be much more aware when we're building anything, what we are excluding. And it's also about remembering that other people are people as well. So taking a moment to talk to someone and get to know them as a person, um, you know, if they haven't shared their pronouns, you ask them. It's not hard to ask someone's pronouns. Don't make assumptions, that's most of it. Whether that's in building a system, making a room, um, ditch the assumptions.